Hi beautiful, it's Shandy. I hope you're as excited as me today because I'm gonna show you how to make this adorable little crocheted coffee cup cozy. These make great gifts, so you'll wanna get busy making these for all those coffee drinkers in your life. You can take this to your favorite local coffee shop if you don't wanna use their cardboard ones, or you can use it around your house if you have mugs that don't have handles and they get too hot. I know for me, I love my morning coffee, I gotta have it, and my favorite thing is if I get a chance to make it at home, I like to make my little coffee and go sit in my cozy chair, get a book that I love to read that's gonna get my mind right for the day, and meditate a little bit, ease into the day before I start work. Since I love coffee so much, I wanted to share this adorable little crocheted coffee cup cozy with you. You're gonna need worsted weight yarn, a size USH 5.0 millimeter hook, and a darning needle for seaming and weaving in your ends. I'm using our Luster worsted yarn today because it's cozy and soft and has a gorgeous gleam to it. Begin by chaining 44. Now I'm gonna walk you through row one. You want a single crochet in the second chain from your hook and then one single crochet in each of the next three chains. Single crochet in the second chain from your hook and each of the next three chains. So skip the first one. Single crochet in that second chain from your hook. And one single crochet in each of the next three chains. Then you're going to skip three chains and work seven double crochets in the next chain. Skip the next three chains, seven double crochets into the next chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then skip three chains and work one single crochet in each of the next seven chains. Skip one, two, three, and work seven single crochets. One, next chain, two, next chain, three, next chain, four, and keep going, five, six, and seven. Starting where you skipped these three chains, you're gonna repeat all of those stitches again. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Skip three chains, work seven double crochets in the next chain. Skip one, two, three, seven double crochets in that next chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. To finish out that row, you're just going to skip three more chains and then work one single crochet in each of the final four chains. Skip three chains and work one single crochet in each of the final four chains. One, two, three, and bloop, four. Row one is done. Row two is super simple. You're gonna turn and then chain one and work one single crochet in each stitch across. Go ahead and turn. Start the row by chaining one and then into each stitch across the row, you're just gonna work a single crochet. Now 
Now we're on to row number three. You're gonna turn, of course, and then you're going to chain three, which counts as your first double crochet, then work three double crochets into the first single crochet. Turn, chain three, two, three, and work three double crochets into that first single crochet. One, two, and three. Then skip three single crochets and work one single crochet in each of the next seven. Skip one, two, three, and work one single crochet in each of the next seven single crochets. So there's one, and then two, three. So we're just going over that little hump there. Four, five, six, and seven. Then skip three single crochets and work seven double crochets in the next stitch. Skip one, two, three, and work seven double crochets into that next stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven. Starting where you skipped these three stitches, you're gonna repeat all those stitches again. Skip three single crochets and then work one single crochet in each of the next seven. Skip one, two, three, and then one single crochet in each of the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There we go. Then to finish off that row, just skip the next three single crochets and work four double crochets in the final stitch. Skip one, two, three, and work four double crochets in that final stitch. One, Two, three, four, and that row is done. Row four, you're just gonna repeat row two. Turn, chain one, and work one single crochet in each of the first four single crochets. Two, three, and four, just like that. Skip the next three stitches and work seven double crochets in the next stitch. Skip one, two, and three, seven double crochets in that next little stitchy poo. All right, we got one. We got two. We got three, four, five, six, and seven. Then you wanna skip three stitches and work one single crochet in each of the next seven stitches. Skip three and work one single crochet in each of the next seven stitches. Two, and there's a little third one, and four, Four. You can see this pattern works up pretty quickly. Six and seven. There you go. Okay, now starting from where you skipped those three stitches, you're gonna repeat all of that again. Then skip three stitches and work seven double crochets in the next. Skip three and work seven double crochets into that next little stitch there. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There we go. To finish row five, you're gonna skip three stitches and then work one single crochet in each of the last four stitches. All right, skip one, two, three, 
and work one single crochet in each of those last four stitches. One, two, three, and four. Row five is done. Now we've worked five rows. To finish up your coffee cozy, you're gonna work to row 10. So rows six through row 10, you're gonna repeat rows two, row three, row two, row five, and row two. This pattern was designed for you by Christina Smiley. We do have the written version of this pattern if that helps you out. I will put the links below to that if you wanna go download. While you're there, go ahead and sign up for email updates and I will let you know when we have new free knit and crochet patterns. Also, be sure to like and subscribe and comment below and let me know if you're gonna be making these adorable little coffee cozies. Once you're all done, you're gonna cut your tail, leaving a long enough end to seam up your sides. Grab your darning needle and thread it onto your end. Then seam up your short sides using whatever method you prefer. Go ahead and cut your tails, weave in your ends, and you're ready to start using your new cozy. I hope you enjoyed making that adorable little cozy with me today and that you get to have your favorite hot drink and use it. And I am gonna see you in the next video. Bye-bye.